Hello and welcome to Apollo. In this screencast I will show you what Apollo looks like. Here I will assume that you have already gone through the startup process and that you have already created your own Apollo workspace. So let's see. Once logged in you will land on the overview. What you see right here is a list of overview tasks and then just underneath which tasks are due today and the upcoming ones. It will also show you upcoming calendar events. The menu on the left hand side are the main sections of a workspace. So we have my tasks, calendar, projects, contacts, settings. Let's have a look at those one by one. With my tasks you can keep everything under control. You can see all of your personal tasks that are upcoming or worse overdue. There are three types of tasks in Apollo. Personal tasks, project tasks and customer tasks. Personal tasks are owned by you. They are not shared and are not part of any existing projects. Customer tasks are the ones associated to a person or company in the workspace contact list. So it's something to do for that person or somehow connected with that person. This is what my tasks will probably look like once you've started using Apollo. Calendar is one of Apollo's gems. It has all of the standard features you'd expect from a modern calendar. For example, I can create an event. Then drag it around. Make it longer. And so on but it's also integrated. For example, if you have a task or a milestone that is due today and you're the person responsible of completing it, it will appear in your calendar. And yes, it also supports multiple calendars. And yes, you can share them with other users in the workspace or have public ones. In Projects you can see your workspace active projects. At the moment, again, it looks pretty lonely but it doesn't take long to fix that. Just add a project, say learn how to use Apollo, and here we go. The project area is the heart of your project. I won't go in much detail but I do want to emphasize that at this point you have the menu on the left hand side and two tabs at the top dashboard and learn how to use Apollo. You can switch between them or close the project tab and then open it again. So yes Apollo is a multi-tab environment. Once your project is open you have several areas within that project. For the sake of this screencast this is what a small project will look like once you've started using Apollo. Projects deserve a screencast on their own and even more than one, but you get the idea. In contacts you can see your workspace contacts. Now that's not just a list of people. Remember everything in Apollo is integrated. Ok that sounds like a big word. This is what I mean. Create a contact called Gerblo. As you can see we have a very similar layout to what we saw in projects. One tab for the dashboard and several other tabs, one for every contact you open up. So write up a note. Joe got a quote for the annual corporate party today. You can see that you can create a follow-up task which is a task connected to this specific note. Ok, at this point, if you go into the calendar, you can see the task right there. And if you go to my tasks, you will see that it's one of the things I need to do today. This is what we mean by integrated.
finally in settings you will be able to set your personal settings. If you're an admin you will also have access to most of the important sidewide settings. As the account owner you can also change the workspace name and the plan you're on. The only section that deserves some talking will be internal and external users but I will spare you for now. For now just keep in mind that external users unlike the internal ones can only access the projects they're invited to and don't have access to the calendar and the contacts in the workspace. If you think about it calendar and contacts contain a lot of private information that should only be available to people who work for your company. After this overview you should have at least a good idea of what Apollo is. The best thing for you to do is just use it and check here for more screencasts. See you soon!